Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone at Wake Up America Media Network. I met artist Mary Jane Q. Cross at the International Guild of Realism in Tempe, Arizona. Mary Jane Q. paints with her fingers, which became necessary after developing a tremor that made brushwork difficult. Good coping skills and an eye that sees beauty and truth in most everything she sees has given her a work of broad scope of interest. She's developed that not only into her paintings, but into poems as well. Our conversation covered her art and her passion. Let's watch. You know what's really exciting is that when we first set this up, we didn't know you won best of show. Complete ambush. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional ambush. I was very surprised. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Looking at your painting, I don't think you should have been surprised at all. <laughs> this is incredible. What's really incredible is that we talk about off camera your tremor. You got this late in life. You learned. You were doing other things with your life. And then... 21 years ago, I took a medication for 19 days, and I have this resultant tremor that um, put a stop to how I traditionally painted. I was a painter for um, all of my life. Uh, I went to art school, and I did a lot of acting and other things while I was waiting to go to art school. <laughs> and um, then painted and had an idea of what my vision was going to be for the future. And then everything came to a grinding halt. And it came to a halt for about five and a half years while I had to relearn how to um, paint. Paint, basically. Now, I was asked by um, a friend that uh, had I ever finger painted, and I went, yes, once. I didn't like the feeling, and you told me. When I was six, I actually really did love <laughs> finger painting. And Isn't that it wonderful? Was, it was memorable. It was just incredibly <laughs> memorable. But you know, I really think that God plants this pattern in your life and in your heart, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he doesn't make junk. He plants something in your heart about what your future is, is going to be. It's sort of the blueprint. And when I look back on it now and I saw that I loved finger painting, I just said, Lord, if I can ever get my hand back and, and paint again, I promise I will never take it for granted ever again. And so you have, as you have mentioned in your bio, you have um, uh, five brushes. They just happen to be your fingers. Actually, I have seven brushes. Ooh. This is my biggest brush, and for, for this, I can do big areas like this. Um, and that's, that's this large area. And then I, then I have this little one on the end, and that's for small things. I don't really have too much small stuff in here, but right. this is my smallest brush. And then I use these two fingers and a thumb most of the time. And if I'm working on a large painting like this where uh, I spent a great many hours, I can wear off these pads pretty easily. So then I use these two fingers and a thumb. And again, I am Diane Marie Collins, and you have been in the DM Zone. We like to interview fun and interesting people from authors to celebrities to almost celebrities or soon to be celebrities. Don't forget, you are in the DM Zone on Wake Up America Media Network. Come back soon.